Hello. All right, today I'm going to show you how to get variant and product IDs for a list of products in Shopify for which you have the handles. I'll show you how I got those real quick. The reason for this is because I need to do a lookup based on all these items and need their variant ID so that they can add the appropriate one to the cart um, and I'm not loading them all into the page. So basically from products, you export all products, plain CSV, take that over to Google Sheets and you just import, da 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 da, upload it there, gives you something like this and then i just copied this to a new one so i will tap the original and then deleted um, the products that i don't need and then just copied these handles over here into sublime text um, and it doesn't seem like there's a nice easy way to get all these so i'll show you one that i haven't used before but should work just fine I think um, so first what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new layout file and the idea here is basically going to be that we have a blank layout file and then we're going to just use Shopify to uh, pull out anything that we need um, using its actual real uh, product data, essentially. So I'm just gonna leave that stuff and then that uploading, it's gonna be a new layout called product info. Oops, not HTML. That's gotta be liquid. All right, so now let's see if we can do a new page template. And I think at the top, it's just uh, layout info. And let's just do. And let's see this under right, and then let's make a little page to hold that. that works. Uh-oh. No, it did not. Templates, page, product info. Oh, I need a uh, content. May do it. I may be doing something dumb here. Hmm. Probably edit this out for a slow machine. Oh, 
Uh oh, layout missing content. Or header. All right, like that better. Now let's see if that works. Boom, sweet. Okay. So now I have all these handles and uh, so content for layout is of course what's coming from here. So all I got to do, I think the easiest way is to just use the all products array. Um, which is just all products, and then you can call it directly by the handle. And this would get us um, up to 20 at a time. So I think it would be so that gets you the product and then uh, variance first ID and then let's just this is 20 at a time and oh yeah So let's just see if that works. And I could be misremembering this. And it's possible we can do all these at the same time. But no promises. There's also something where you can paginate products by a thousand, but I think that they would have to be. Uh, in a collection to do that. I don't think you can just. All right, bada boom. So that works. So for easy copy paste. That would be the first block of my new array that I'll reference here when I need to pull in, basically just need to pull in that variant ID um, once I know the color selection. So basically that's how I would do it. Um, since there's only 156 of these, I would just do it five, eight times to do that, uh, to get all these, which is what I'm gonna do. But just for SMGs here, let's, uh, See if we can't see how many we can get just to confirm. Um, I think it caps out, or at least it used to cap out at 20 calls per page. Let's see. Yeah. So I'll just do those in eight batches. Um, if anyone knows an easy way to get around that without having to group them all into a collection, let me know. All ears. Uh, but yeah, that's my. That's how I do it.